bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me I'm just walking along and I see these beautiful flowers Not bad Never seen those before while while uh Hiking. Oh, there's a nice bird over there. I don't know if I'll be able to spot him. He has a red, kind of a red head. Uh, I don't know how to get my camera. It's hard to see. I don't know. Oh, he just hid on me there. Yeah, he hid on me. to be in the great outdoors forever free Well, I came up to this. This area is uh, out of order because of wind. I saw it said it was because of the wind. The wind did this to the, you can see properly, but the wind, imagine how the wind must have been strong to push those things. I mean, that's heavy. Force of nature, eh? Over there, there's a... After the boardwalk, there's like a platform we could go up, but we can't go there today. Unless there's another way to go, but... If I remember correctly, it's a very humid area. Because of the wetlands. And, uh... Yeah. Take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell. Ah, ah, ah. Hi. So today I decided very late. I procrastinated this morning. I was tired, so uh, I decided very late to leave and come here. Uh, maybe just to take pictures. Probably won't add this to my first hike for my first hike of my fourth 52nd hike challenge. 52 hike challenge. Uh, I'll be starting my fourth one uh, for 2019, which we all know I never 
actually finish in 2019 because I start in June so but I always try very hard there's always something to help stops everything so oh, this might be a little bit uh, blurry I just noticed I have a blur in my camera sorry so yeah I'm at uh, uh, wait a minute it's a conversation a conservation area I forget I forget I know it's uh, taken care of by the Raisin Re Region Conserv Say Conservation Authority. Uh, yeah. Cooper's Marsh. This is Cooper's Marsh. I'd actually come here with little kids. I'm just trying to get nice pictures here today. And I actually took a nice... Well, I actually came adventuring with my um, convertible today. I needed the take advantage of this beautiful sun because as you can see it's getting cloudy now so all the nice blue sky, sky is leaving us so I'm happy I came out I should have came out earlier but and, but I didn't feel like going for a, a long hike I, I just wanted to go out and be in the sun and actually I would really I didn't bring Zoe because we're not allowed dogs here and I was planning on maybe going to a park and installing my hammock and just lay there for a little while, but I guess uh, I'll have to lay my, my hammock on my veranda at home. Because I bought two during the winter. I don't know if you remember me. I don't know if I put it on YouTube. I uh, bought a hammock and I had said I would never sit in a hammock or lay in a hammock in my life. Because I'm gonna break a tree or break a hammock or something, and now, well, I got confidence enough to buy one and use one. And I did last year, and I put it on my veranda, and I, I sat in it. I slept, not slept, but I relaxed in it. Everything was fine. So now I bought two more. So if my son, my husband, wanted, want to use one, because I'm sure they would use mine. We brought it on our trip uh, in um, Rivière Zulu last September, and my son used it. But that was the only day he could use it because we were stuck in a Florence uh, Hurricane Florence's tail there, and we were freezing. So, but uh, I can't wait to just flop in there, and I might try to sleep in one while camping sometime. If we get the the trees for it, so I just think uh, for all the flooding we had this year, I mean, there's not much water here for a marshy area. It's more muddy than watery. I remember coming here maybe two years ago, and it was actually dry. So maybe maybe it's just the area. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's because uh, the St. Lawrence is over there. St. Lawrence is over there, but I mean, as you can see, you can't really see. Uh, I can actually see the Adirondacks at a certain point there, not here, but somewhere over there. That way, I took pictures. So anyway, I'll continue on. It's very humid today, especially in this area. But uh, even at my house, it was humid. Uh, hot day. But I'm not complaining. Because with the shitty weather, weather we've been having, I'm not complaining at all. Tomorrow will be supposed to be a cloudy day. Not too sunny. But maybe they may be wrong. Because they've been really wrong lately. We actually... I actually did... I'll put my videos on YouTube and pictures on YouTube uh, when I get home. Um, last weekend we actually went on a trip that wasn't outdoors related. It was just so funny because I was stressed because I knew there was really going to be a lot of people. I'm so used to being outdoors. Oh wait, I think you can see the Adirondacks now. If I zoom in maybe. Well, maybe not. But they're there. 
something just jump in the mud there. I heard it. I didn't see it because I was talking to you, but I could hear it. Something big, probably a big frog. Yeah, so we went to New York City. <laughs> yeah, New York City. I was in New York City. And uh, if you check out the pictures, I even have um, one of my shirts for one of the days. It's I'd rather be hiking on it. <laughs> I just had to, I don't know, my husband always complaining, we're always doing things you want to do, we never do what I want to do, so I said, okay, if you want to do something, go, time, and uh, he decided he wanted to go to New York City, it's a bus trip, it was fun, and uh, for three days, I was interesting, our guide was amazing, he knew of uh, all the, um, the history of New York City and the uh, United States and he was French speaking and everything. It was amazing. He brought us places most people don't go, I guess. It was amazing. I'd go again. Oh. I think I just saw a blue heron flying. It looks like it. I see those often. I remember them saying it was a sign about something when you see them. It's like saying you're, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it's something about you're on your right life path or something. Or, I'm not sure, I don't remember. I'll let you know. But I've been seeing them since I've been started hiking and losing my weight and so maybe it is that, I don't know. I wish I could see those Adirondacks from closer. I could see them this winter when I went on the beach over there. But I have to pay to go there and I don't want to pay just to go on the beach. Just to see the Adirondacks because I'm definitely not going swimming. As much as I love the outdoors, I don't like uh, swimming in a... I don't know. I like the St. Lawrence. I haven't swam in it in a long year, like, since I was a kid. But I mean, I don't like swimming in lakes or rivers very much. I have trouble that, with that. That's why canoeing is such a big thing for me, because I'm scared to fall in the water. Not because I don't know how to swim, because I don't like seaweed. I don't like fish touching me. So, I'd rather stick to pools. So, I don't have a pool anymore. So I just endure the heat and go hiking <laughs> and look at the nice lakes and rivers. <sighs> okay, so I'm at a end place here. So if I see anything else, I'll let you know. Bye bye. Meant to be in the great outdoors.